We want revolution. Look, Marklitz, on standby. Log online. Sam page loaded and ready. Player stats loaded. Health check. Go. Weapons check. Ice check. Complete. We have launch for the informant podcast in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Informant Podcast, your new source for information regarding Mafia Wars from Zynga. Um, Pistol Pete from Spockholm. Live long and prosper. And tonight I have with me Mig Chainsaw Chester. Jana Mig Death by Gucci. Hey guys, how's it going this evening? Awesome. Good, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm, I'm winding down from all the festivities. What festivities? Yeah, what, I was trying to think. What did we miss? Our, our wonderful carnival masks. Oh, God help <laughs> us. Oh, my God. That's a touchy subject. <laughs> I, people I, I can, yeah, I can hear the, the flames of boiling and the fumes of flying. Yeah, there's a lot of that going on. I've, I've heard people threatening to quit, all kinds of chaos over mm-hmm. the masks. Well, it, it, you know, it is. No, it's not the mask. It's the pop-ups. Don't say that. I'm sorry, I whispered it. I didn't know you heard me. <laughs> Chester I'm loves safe. good pop-ups. You're a little, a little bothered by the I'm, pop-ups there, Chester? I'm saving mine for the family life. <laughs> All right. This segment is yours. As short as it <laughs> yeah, we don't want to get him started just yet, do we? No. Mm. So let's not mention that. Let's talk about other things. Well, okay. we, have, we, we know now that the new city is going to be Brazil. Yes, it's so official. That's it's official. actually not a city, it's a country. You, you're right, okay. It should, it should be called I, location. I, I keep forgetting we need to call them destinations. Yes. That's right. So we have a new destination called Brazil. We have Bangkok closing down, even though there were rumors going around that it was not going to happen. So welcome to the rumor mill running false. We all knew it was going to happen when they started shutting down Cuba, Moscow, and Bangkok. I am surprised how fast everything's shutting down, though. Yeah, and you know, say. and I, you know, we're still left in somewhat limbo over what's it really mean. I mean, are they going to reopen those cities back up under new design? We talked about that last show, or are they That's just going to shut them down know. entirely and leave it at that? Well, they, they've got to keep New York because New York is the staple; it's the very first one. Right. Everything else is ancillary. They can close and add and and delete as, as often as they want, but they have to keep the first one. Now they've totally screwed the pooch on that. They have two different design elements in that for the jobs. You have the very first set, which is freaking wackadoo. Well, they tried to go flash based. Right. And, and then, then they you took go a lot of heat for that, and then then they then they they res- they left the rest of the city alone. Right. Exactly. And what they need to do is they need to just redesign it all into the concept that they've done with Vegas and Italy. And so, that's what I think is going to happen. And I've said when Vegas first came out, I love the design of the city with the navigation on the side to get from place to place really easy. Um, you know, there's there's elements of it I really like. I mean, I know there's been a lot of people that have, would like a better way to deal with the consumables. Because right. there's a lot of bouncing around. Do the smartphone, get the cookbook. Right, right, right. And so if they can, can find some better way to handle that in future cities, that would certainly be a blessing. But, you know, all in all, I do actually prefer the layout of, of the Vegas and the Italy. And since, you know, they do a good job of copy and pasting from city to city, it makes it easy to move forward uh, with new cities having the kind of structure in place. So Exactly. So we've got that. We've just finished up this Underworld showdown, the fight boxing match. Boxing match. Isn't that what well, it was? I think so. Well, we don't know. It just was like some tournament. tournament. Yeah. Oh, it was a tournament. Yeah. yeah. Is it Ultimate Fighters? That's what I'm thinking. Man, ver- man versus yeah. woman, Ultimate Fighter showdown. Cage fighting. Which had Derek Iced Van Mars or Mers. <laughs> Butcher of Names is back again. And then you had uh, Kara Carnage. Carnivello. Yeah, yeah, she looked mean. Yeah, and she didn't win. Derek oh. won the match, which seemed grossly unfair. Did you get a pop up saying that you had won or anything about it? Because I didn't, but I did have the reward. Yeah, I got something that popped up one time when I logged in that told me who won and how many uh, tournament trophies you right. won. Right. I didn't I, get anything. I had five oh. on each side, so. 
Yeah, I got five on each side too, so it worked out for me. So you were totally covered. Yeah, yeah. that's what I think what most people tried to do. I wish there was a way... I don't know how I was trying to think how you could do that a little bit different, that it was a little bit more engaging. I know they tried to, you know, let people vote for who was going to be the winner. Right. That was on the fan page, though, wasn't it? Or was that in game? The voting? The voting wasn't in game like when they had the votes for whether or not you wanted mini games or more fighting events or oh, any right. of that stuff. Which maybe that's the way that they could have done it and then everybody would have complained that there's more stuff going on in the game in one week's time than they need to see anyway. Yeah, it was a busy week. It's the battle in Bangkok. There's a new mission out, obviously, because it's closing. So we're going to go through the same routine with that to get some new stuff. The grand prize is that Coiled Strike. It's got 140 uh, defense and 80 attack. And you can also get a Snake Fang that drops in Bangkok Fights and Jobs. I will surely take it. Yeah, I've been getting a ton of those Snake Fangs. And every time I try to run the job... It just comes down like a sliver. You know how it's supposed to slide down? It comes down about, about three millimeters and then just stays there. It's got a little checkbox there, just big enough for the checkbox to close. So that's something i got to talk to support on. It's a JavaScript problem. Have you already turned off the JavaScript allow windows to resize automatically in your browser? Mm. No. Thank you for leading into the Spockholm report. Yes. Well done. Well done. <laughs> um, actually, that, that, that's a long-standing issue. And what happens is there's a script that Zynga has to do some resizing of Windows on the screen. And if you go into, specifically on Firefox, I'm not exactly sure where it's at on Chrome. But if you go into Firefox and you go into your preferences, and then underneath the content tab, it says enable JavaScript is checked. There's an advanced button, and in there, there's an option that say, allow scripts to move or resize existing windows. And if you uncheck it, then it will not shrink your windows on you. Mm -hmm. We at Spockholm are here to prevent shrinkage. Because that's a problem really? for me. I usually have to scroll down to see to power attack and things. Yep, and so but, I've just been minimizing a little bit. But it is a common problem. It does happen a lot. Um so that's one that you know we get hit with a lot on the Spock homepage, where people will be like, I, you know, my sc my screen just keeps shrinking on me. I can't see anything, and it's it's all because there's there is a script that they have running that will try to resize the windows, and if you turn that off, then you won't have that problem. I'm pretty sure that's the main reason I quit using Firefox, because hmm. it drove me insane. And maybe and maybe Chrome deals with it in a different way anyway, so that's why you don't maybe not even have to deal with the setting. I've never ran across anybody saying they had the problem with Chrome, but it is a Firefox issue. Right. Yeah, my, my, my issue that I've been having is that Firefox is now faster than Chrome on my machine for some reason. Really? And the beta just came out for uh, 4. Right. So. I've used it. It's pretty good. See, I've been using IE9. Wow. So running the beta of IE9, and it's a lot like Chrome. A right. lot like Chrome. But still, Chrome is a little bit thinner and faster. I always wished I could just combine Firefox and Chrome, the things I like about the two. Right. Well, you're hitting on all the topics tonight there, Chester. All four Thank cylinders. Because IE is a problem for scripters. Oh, always no. has been. So the mock registration tool that we created, it's actually out and available for people to go in and start doing registration for the mock. We've had um, no luck getting it to work in IE as much and as hard as we've tried. So what we've managed to do is basically just put a check in there, and if it's on IE, uh, we'll go and uh, redirect them to a registration page that all they have to do is put in their Facebook ID and, and Facebook name, and then we'll later go in and populate it with the appropriate information from their profile and also then turn around and assign them to a team afterwards. So uh, the process for using a bookmarklet, Jen's got it covered really well on her blog page. If you just do a search on her page for uh, bookmarklets, but the, the process is really easy right off the informant podcast page. You can go there. Uh, you'll see the link underneath the uh, mock war registration section. And there's the link that says the war machine registration. And if you drag that over to your, your bookmarklet bar or up on your toolbar, it will create a link to that bookmarklet. Go to a Mafia Wars page, 
click that link that you've now created in your toolbar and it will unframe if necessary and then if you click it again it will actually launch the bookmarklet for the registration and the registration bookmarklet is easy peasy lemon squeezy there's a drop down that lets you choose which mock you're going to participate in um, right now there's only one so it makes it very simple in the future the idea is that will allow for multiple mocks to be going on the checkbox check that if you'd like to uh, get um, registered for the giveaways and then if you agree to all that at that point just click the accept and register button it'll go out send your registration details up to the server and then tell you which team you've been assigned to and then that's all you need to do for now and then the day before or a couple of days before the mock we will go ahead and release the fight list bookmarklet and we'll make the spreadsheets available and the spreadsheets will be a HTML page listing each of the two teams that's really the premise for the war machine registration and it's so far there's been people registering since we've we've put it out and it seems to be working really well if you run any problems put a note up on the Spockholm wall and we'll be sure to address it and get it ready you know get it fixed up as soon as possible but so far everything seems to be running pretty smooth cool yeah, I think people are really gonna like this yeah yeah I'm excited about it that, that was one of the things that people were having an issue with last time is that it took a very long time for us to um, actually get people who were registered to get them in because we had to do it in batches mm -hmm. uh, otherwise we would have been up 24 hours a day running this thing so we had to wait like four to eight hours before we could do it now it's just going to be instant so they don't have to wait for us they don't have to do anything it's just going to run yep. and it's going to be really simple it's not as difficult as it sounds correct and what I also did is opened up the group it's called the St. Patrick's Mock War and in there are instructions so you can either see it on the home page as soon as you jump into it, or you look on the right-hand side of the page and you'll see documents and you'll see instructions. You just click on that. It has everything that he just said, but written out. And in English. <laughs> in English. Sorry, everybody that's out there. It doesn't speak English or read English, but that's, uh, that's it. The other thing I do want to cover during this time is a couple of days ago, uh, Facebook released some new Facebook changes that basically destroyed the capability to unframe Mafia Wars. And mess. there was a lot of panic that it wasn't going to get fixed really quick. And I don't personally know the guy. Um, I know two people that were involved in finding a solution to the problem. One of them was uh, Simi. He goes by Guess, Guess X. Uh, and then the other is uh, the one that I think actually ended up writing the code is a guy named Christopher. And, you know, I just really want to tell you. I actually head. didn't write it. it not, not, not Chris Chester. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but I do want to tip my hat to them for taking the time to find a solution fast. I mean, it hit the servers. People started panicking. And, I mean, literally within probably maybe three hours, a solution was found on how to re-unframe game. And it made a big difference. There wasn't as much downtime as we've had in the past. And it really goes to show how connected the scripting community is on finding solutions and then uh, then after that um, a gentleman by the name of Lefty found a way to um, actually just follow a standard link and get to an unframed Mafia Wars and uh, Martin just created a you know a short uh, tiny URL that's available on our wall and we've shared it other places as well that as long as you bookmark that and you've opened Facebook in some window you could just click it and it takes you right to an unframed Mafia Wars page without even having to do, you know, a bunch of clicking. So it's been a busy week. We've had a lot going on. Okay, we're going to take a break and we'll be right back. Did you guys hear that rant that came in on the voicemail? Oh I my gosh. I saw that. It, it was, was 11.33 this morning. Yeah, I forgot. The, I completely forgot about that. Well, let's play it. Yeah, let's go ahead and play it and then uh, we'll be back in just a sec. Hi guys, I love your show, and I love Mafia Wars. I just want to tell you, okay, so I work at a certain coffee house. It's, uh, I don't want to mention the name, but let me tell you this. It starts with an S. It's like a point on a constellation and a group of male deer, if you can figure that out. So after work, I'm so frustrated with dealing customers all day that I like to sit down and relax and play my Mafia Wars. And I'm like, here's your ice dulce frappuccino. <laughs> oh, you want a mocha? How about a mocha on ice? <laughs> I love, I love uh, 
playing Mafia Wars is like my most exciting thing ever. And um, I just want to say I love what you guys do. I um, I'm not a violent guy. I just like to get high on life and weed. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. Oh, I love you guys. Take care. Bye. No. Oh my god, that's no. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> like, awesome. that laughter, I love dude. the great rant. That's terrible. <laughs> like Chester. I needed that. <laughs> no, no, yeah. It definitely wasn't me. No, it was not Chester. It was not the drive through. That was that funny. Was beautiful. Thank you, whoever that was. <laughs> <laughs> We're back on the Informant Podcast with the family life and Meg's Chainsaw Chester. What's going on? Frickin' pop ups. I knew it. I was waiting. You love it. <laughs> I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. I find the people that are doing these pop-ups. I heard you took a chainsaw to your computer today. Mm, yes. I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to send a bill to, to Zynga or to the developer who actually decided to put it. It's not that it pops up. It's that it pops up when I'm fighting. Mm -hmm. So I'm clicking away at the power attack. I know I'm dropping the person just before it gets that ice or the kill. It makes the page kind of go gray. You're like, okay, great, got the ice. Hell no. Carnival mask pop up. Mm -hmm. Stop. For crying out loud, stop. This is killing people. It's killing me. It's killing everybody that fights. Yep. You want to do a stupid pop up, keep it on the other pages. Put it in the jobs. Put it on the front page. Put it up somebody's. <laughs> I don't care. Get it out of the fight list. <laughs> out of the fight list. Please, please, for crying out loud, get it the hell out of the fight list. Exactly. Technically, it's not in the fight list. It's in any fighting. If they could just seclude it to one area, just away from the fight list. I hear you. It needs to be a, not a part of any part of fighting. Because it, technically speaking, there's many times you guys target people directly and you'll still get the same thing. It's it's not just off when you're fighting off the fight list you get it. It's irritating. Yeah. It's it's just it's just not the place to put it. Zynga developers. Please, please, please get it out <laughs> of the fight list. So, and I actually created a stupid a stupid little cartoon of it. And we'll I put that on it. the we'll put it up on the informed podcast page and the Facebook page too. So it just it just irritated the living crap out of me, and I had to do something. I felt that building a little cartoon was much more positive. It sounds very therapeutic. therapeutic. Yes. Good for you. So, anyway, um, other than that, we got the mock coming up. So those, those are the two big things that I'm running right now. Um, on on uh, a different note, we have Jerk to Turk. How are you doing, buddy? I'm doing good, man. You? Hmm. Mm -hmm. You haven't listened to the last minute and a half? Yeah, he just I, I I did. But I, I you know, kind of had you mute, muted out oh. knowing you were going on one of your, your rants. Mm-hmm. Been, been there, done that. I totally agree with you, my friend. Yeah. Pop-ups are just a pain. In the fight Big list. pain. What's that? I, mean, I understand it's a necessary evil. But it is. It needs to be outside of the fight list. That's it. Insider trading tips. There really isn't a whole lot going on. Uh, the market is still pretty much stagnant. Portable fusion reactors were hot. I mean, extremely hot two weeks ago. Now uh, you can trade them away two for one for mission high-end loot. So until Zynga releases some more giftful loot, we're stuck with what we've got, and people are just uh, grabbing what they can and just getting exorbitant prices for them. The other big thing is, is weapon parts. Uh, with weapon parts, everyone's in big demand for them. Uh, that is the hottest item we've got. Uh, with weapon parts, you can get 70 weapon parts for one mission high-end loot. Cool. What, where's what's the best uh, site right now? It for the best for the sites. Items? I mean, there's there's probably five that I go to, uh, and it really depends on the time of day. Just because certain people who do the heavy trading um, when they're up around the world, uh, I start my mornings off by going over to Elite Trading. Because uh, there I catch a lot of the guys from Asia and in Indonesia with their with their trades. Uh, during the course of the day, I'll shoot over and do the rest of my trading on Kingpin Trading and also the official Loot Lounge. 
those are probably the three top trading sites that I like to do my business on. Awesome. But I will tell you that there is a brand new trading site called Elusive Dreams that just opened up a week ago. Cool. It was created by uh, three guys who were admins for various trading sites, and they all decided to get together. They've got probably 15 admins working for them. Uh, I've done business with probably, gosh, three quarters of them. So I, I, I like them already. Uh, I've been doing some trading there, but again, there's, they're brand new. They're just building up their membership. So trading's a little bit slow. Uh, hopefully they'll see their membership skyrocket. And again, that's Elusive Dreams, E-L-U-S-I-V-E Dreams, and it was created by Richard Weiss. Cool, cool. Thanks for the update there. All right, well, thank you so much. We appreciate that, Turk. So in two weeks, uh, you'll be back. Shout out, ladies and gentlemen, I have one. Oh. And this goes out to a certain person in Zingadev. I don't know who you are, um, but I do want to give you a huge shout out <laughs> for making me one of the happiest people on the planet Earth. Uh, the reason is, is because you have allowed me to gift my fellow people parade balloons. Okay, now I have a shout out. Let me just stop you. No, um, no, no. No, he gave me 10,000 uh, uh, parade balloons today that's at one right. shot. 10,000. That's, that's what I've done today. Um, it's a wonderful thing because for those mm -hmm. of you who don't know, I, I, I was one of those. You know how some people get glitches mm -hmm. um, that are in-game uh, that are just anomalies? Well, people get them in their reward points or stats here and there, things that actually help them. Mm -hmm. I have like four catril or cotillion <laughs> parade balloons. Can you count that high? Uh, I can, actually. It'd take a while, but I can actually do that, yes. So, I mean, I've been groaning and moaning about this for a long time, and finally, Forever. Uh, a week and a half ago, Zing <laughs> made them. Somebody uh, had a great sense of humor. And, yeah, uh, made those, made those and I would like, I have a gift for that person. <laughs> so whoever created that, I pray to God you're not the one who does the pop-ups in my fight list. Yeah. Then we have a, a love-hate relationship going on, but whoever made the parade balloons, thank you for listening. And damn, I love your sense of humor. So that's yeah. where my shout goes out to that Zynga developer. Thank you. Very cute. Very cute. How about you, Jana? Mm -hmm. I have a few shout outs here, but I'm going to refrain from that one. <laughs> I have a shout out to my partner that's helping me with my meetup on April 8th in Denver. Uh, Joe Gazaway has been really working hard to make this awesome. So I uh, got to say a shout out to him. So thank you for your help. Yep. And that's something we didn't talk about at the meet and greets this time. Uh, there are a bunch of them that are popping up everywhere. You're going to hear about them constantly. So yep. so You're going to hear about them more than mocks. Yeah, you are. So <laughs> yeah, you are. So get ready. Get ready, and you're going to like this. But for those of you who are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, if you guys can band together, because there's like seven or eight of them right now, if you guys band together and create them, I'll come. I'll see if I can get some uh, swag or something to bring with me. Um, again, whoever's got like some of the largest ones that are out there, like the top five, you guys get a, uh, a package, a promo package that you can give mm -hmm. stuff out with. Exactly. Uh, but I'll come. And I have it on uh, good notation that uh, Pistol Pete would be driving down, too. Now, see, I heard he might drive down to mine, so we're going to be battling out this no, one. No, no, no. I'm two hours closer. He's already been to one of yours. <laughs> it's my turn. I need the pizza. He's down. been requested at mine. Has he been requested at yours? Yeah, by me. And I talked to him about it a long time ago. So <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be on. Okay. How about you, Cherky? Who was it you said that sent in that email? Whoever oh. it was that sent in that email, Chester, you were telling me about earlier, that's who my shout out's going to. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tom Cambron. I, I had to scan through my notes here. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so, so we to, saw to my that. number one fan, You're Tom one and only Cambron. Spocktonian. Yeah, I'm going to give a shout out to the, to the different media crews that are out there with Mafia Wars. So like the Mafia Wars Wiki, John and the Fa Facebook Zynga Podcast, Bossy Don with Top Mafia, Mystified, and all the rest of them that are really stepping up to to help as we continue to try to promote these mocks and stuff like that. 
I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for the time that you guys put in to spread the word with your with your fan base. It's you know important. I'm really hoping we can catch a lot of new players with this next mock, and then um, you know give a shout out to the Spocktonians and want to give a final special shout out to Ike. I know we've talked about him a bunch of times on the show before, but he's really doing a phenomenal job with this fight list bookmarklet for the mock. I think everybody that gets in on this one that has ever used the script or has never used the script is going to love the fight list bookmarklet for participating in this mock war. So put the pressure on him now. I've it's now on his shoulders to to finish it off for the the big event. So really looking forward to it. So and that will be that. Thanks everybody for listening. Hey Jen, where do you think they can find us? They can find us on the web at informantpodcast.com. You can also find our fan page on facebook.com forward slash informant podcast. Or you can leave us an email at tip at informantpodcast.com. Hey, I think you can also find us on Twitter at informantpod. And you can always leave us a rant on our rant hotline, which is 707 847 6852. 707 tip 6852. You have been listening to the Informant Podcast, the place where family is first. I want to cross, get them crashing to the brave new world. I want to ride.